Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Motivation for Young Christians. Welcome back, welcome back. Today we're going to be diving into John chapter 11, verses 1 through 10. This is another episode of Bible Study, episode 21. To begin, i like to start off with a prayer and then end off. I'll end off with a prayer too. Don't worry guys, Brother Jim, Brother Javi will be back next week. They're absent now. Today I'm just going to be taking it over. Father God, we thank you for this day that you've made. I rejoice in the God and the God. We thank you for continuing to be in our lives each and every day, God. I pray that now is about to get into the time of Bible study. God, I pray that you have the best and come to scripture, God. I pray that no one from against everybody shall prosper, God. I pray that you'll be able to let the scripture speak to me, God. I pray there'll be key information here that I need to know and that you'll point out to me in the the viewers at the same time, God, I pray that the video will be a blessing unto everybody, God. I pray that you continue to work in us, God. Have your way, God. In Jesus' name, amen. We're going to dive right into the scripture again, guys. Chapter 11, the raising of Lazarus. A man named Lazarus was sick. He lived in Bethany with his sisters, Mary and Martha. This is the Mary who later poured the expensive perfume on the Lord's feet and wiped them with her hair. Her brother, Lazarus, was sick. So the two sisters sent a message to Jesus telling him, Lord, your dear friend is very sick. But when Jesus heard... Okay, guys, to begin, we're introduced to Lazarus. Give you a little background. Lazarus was the one that was risen from dead after three or four days of him being dead. We're also being introduced to his two sisters, Mary and Martha. Um, Mary is the one that later poured expensive perfume on the Lord's feet and wiped away her hair. Um, Lazarus is very sick right now, and his sister sent a, me a message to Jesus so that he will heal him. Verse 4 says, Heard about it, he said, Lazarus' sickness will not end in death. No, it happened for the glory of God, so that the Son of God will receive glory from this. So, although Jesus loved Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, he's... Okay, guys. I think you guys are probably will be confused by verses 4, but verses 4 is a key verse. I'm just going to repeat it. But when Jesus heard about it, he said, Lazarus' sickness will not end in death. No, it happened for the glory of God, so that the Son of God will receive glory from this. Now, one thing I've learned in life is that God allows stuff to happen or he purposely lets stuff happen for reasons. There's always a reason behind it, and the reason behind it will be revealed later on in this chapter. Verse 6. He stayed where he was for the next two days. Finally, he said to his disciples, let's go back to Judea. Okay. Jesus stayed where he was for the next two days. He didn't go immediately to... um. Lazarus, but then finally he's like, let's go back to, let's go back to Judas. But his disciples objected. Rabbi, they said, only a few days ago the people in Judea were trying to stone you. Are you going there again? Jesus replied, there are 12 hours of daylight every day. During the day, people can walk safely. They can see because they have the light of this world. But at night, there is danger of stumbling because they have no light. Man, this this is a powerful scripture. Now, Jesus' disciple was scared for him to go back to Judea because if you watch from the um last Bible study, or you just been found along with this with our Bible study journey, um with John, the Pharisee did not like Jesus and they wanted to kill him. They were trying to kill him and they tried to stone him in the last chapter. If you watch the last Bible study, um, it's right in there. So they was kind of hesitant about him going back to Judea because they tried to stone him the last time they were there. But Jesus always knew that what he's doing and there's always protection over him. And going going in a day would be an obvious um, target because they can easily find him because the daylight you can see better. But Jesus planned to go through the night so that way he can avoid can avoid um seeing them but God is always protecting over him so he had nothing to fear. Okay guys that's that's it for verses one through ten today. Don't worry next week we'll be back with more 
of John chapter 11, I'll say my ending prayer of and do my closing. God, I thank you for this day that you've made. I rejoice and begin in God. I just thank you. Thank you for this time that we're able to do this Bible study. God, I pray that the viewers will be able to be blessed and understand the scripture. God, I just pray that you continue to work and just have your way, God. I just love you and I thank you, God. I pray that you continue to be in our lives each and every day, God. God, I protect us in the upcoming week, God. In Jesus' name, amen. This is it for the video, guys. Make sure you like. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on your post notification. This is motivation for young Christians. I'm out. <laughs>